Hello and welcome to this tutorial for the GBU-53 JDAM uh, GPS or INS guided munition for the Aviate Harriet in Arma 2. Uh, the purpose of this tutorial is just to explain how that system works, the GPS, GPS and INS system coupled with the JDAM uh, guided bomb. Uh, so first off we'll just kind of note the basics of it. Uh, first we have the uh, if you look up in the right hand corner of the HUD, we'll switch to the GBU-53 JDAM. There's only two on this aircraft and that's the maximum amount you can have on a, a Harrier at any given time in Arma 2 at this time. And that's the biggest drawback is that the jet uh, ESA or the, the missile box doesn't allow you to rearm as many JDAMs as you want on the aircraft uh, like it does for the GBU-12 which is kind of a bummer. Hopefully we can get a fix for that in the future. But that really is the only drawback to this weapon. That and then it, it can't hit moving targets because it's based on the GPS coordinate. Um, however, we do have the AGM-65 Maverick for moving targets, for moving vehicles, uh, which does quite well. But anyways, moving on, uh, we'll move on to the actual GPS INS system, which is accessed through the mouse wheel menu. As you can see, when we roll the mouse wheel, we can't see the GPS INS menu because it needs the aircraft needs to be under power first. So we'll start the engines and then we'll come back to the GPS INS menu. Now that we have the engine started and we do go through our mouse wheel, we can actually see the GPS INS system and we can click on the option. Once we open up, uh, it opens up into the standard GPS map that you would by clicking the M button. It's just uh, located here now on this MFD. Uh, it's pretty intuitive. You can zoom out just like the, the map uh, in the, uh, when pressing the M button. And you can also slew the map by uh, clicking and holding the right mouse button. So we'll zoom in here on our target area and kind of get into the meat of the program. So this is great since we'll be able to look at this while we're still on deck and not flying and have to worry about flying anything, into anything or crashing anything like that. Uh, say we're given a predetermined target, um, like say this building here at Hill 17, and this is a target that we want to hit with our GPS INS guided bomb. Uh, the, all that you have to do to designate it is first click on it. And you'll see that it designates it, and it gives the coordinates, the coordinate location, so we can verify this with the ground, um, or with our forward air controller, before we actually hit the target. And all it needs to actually mark the target for uh, guidance is you just click, simply click the mark button on the uh, MFD panel. Now, if we want to clear the target, uh, we don't want to. We will actually want to designate another one. We can actually click clear and that'll take the target right off. And then also, uh, say we have this target selected and marked, and we actually want to select a different one right afterwards, all we have to do is say we want to hit the building, this building as well, on the next pass. We can actually designate it um, and without marking it. So say we hit this one here, and the next pass we want to hit this one, all we have to do is hit mark again and it will automatically move over to the next target which is a pretty cool feature so we'll move back to hill 17 again and we'll hit this building first uh, we'll just go over quickly a couple more features of this MFD first we have the uh, the center GPS uh, button here which is pretty cool if you click on it it will just center the, uh, center the MFD right on your GPS target that you have and the other center button is for centering actually on your aircraft back to the target area here. Uh, the other button over here, the DRA mode, uh, basically is the mode that we're in now and this designates a target on the ground and on the uh, radar screen up here it will actually show up as a square, much like the ground targets that we're used to. The DISP mode, uh, when it is selected, uh, this is actually an elevated, creates an elevated target. And it actually shows up as a triangle or an air target here. So if we look at uh, in, in over here, we have the uh, we can change the elevate the elevation in, in intervals or increments of 50. 
um, from, 50 meet, uh, from 50 meters all the way up to 500. Uh, for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll just use the DIR, DIR mode, uh, and we'll, uh, I'll go through and I'll hit this target. But, uh, so now we can close this down, and I'll just go over the, the basics of actually using this weapon system. So uh, before we take off, after we take off, we'll climb to an altitude of 2,000 feet, uh, or excuse me, 2,000 meters, uh, AGL, above uh, ground level, or above sea level in this case. And uh, we'll be able to drop from that uh, altitude and essentially uh, not be able to, we'll not have to lose altitude to drop this weapon, so we won't actually have to dive into the target. And what's great about this is, based on your speed and your altitude, it'll actually give you a it'll give you an indication of when to actually when the best time to drop the weapon is by circular it will circle the, the square box that you, the square targeting box so with that we'll uh, get up in the air and we'll go drop our first bomb the first bomb will be just using the, the pre-designated target that we got and then the second one will be from a cast call where they give us an 8 line format um, target that we're going to actually locate on the GPS INS system So we'll taxi up here to the uh, whole short line and we'll take off to the uh, target area. We're all cleaned up, so we'll climb up to an altitude of around 2,000 meters, and we'll turn to the target, and uh, we'll uh, show you how effective this weapon system can be. Now, the goal with this, you know, with this uh, weapon system is to be completely precise and uh, only hit the target, the targets that we need to hit. And I think that you see in a minute that it does just that. that we wanted to be. We'll turn back in around to the target area. So as now you can actually see one uh, one one of the targets down there is a, a vehicle and the other target uh, is our actual target that we want. So you can actually select it now and you can see that you can see that it is selected on the screen down there. Oh, just below the hood. So it is actually ready to ready to fire and as soon as we get our solution and it cir encircles the square there, we can go ahead and pick up the weapon or drop the weapon. So there's our circle, there's our best time for drop. Uh, we've released it and it's on its way down to the target. We'll come off here, we'll come off left here and we'll uh, look down and we'll see what, uh, see what the kind of results we get. And there it was. Looks like we destroyed the building that we wanted to. It was a direct hit, and no issues there. And uh, lost a little altitude because we were trying to uh, look at the target uh, and uh, you know, keep it zoomed in. But in uh, reality, you actually wouldn't even have to lose altitude at all. Um, so the odds of getting shot down are uh, uh, almost eliminated uh, with this type of weapon. Okay, so we've hit our first target. Now we'll actually go into our uh, 
second target, and that's uh, changing targets on the fly as we're as we're flying along. So what's neat about this is once we will get established here outside the target area. Um, what's neat about this is when you open the GPS on the system, it will actually keep the aircraft attitude that you last had before you opened it. So it's kind of like an autopilot. Uh, so what you can do is just uh, set up the aircraft for straight and level flight. And, uh, there we go, and open up the menu. Now we've been given uh, coordinates from infantry. Uh, those coordinates are 0326. 0448. So we have 032, 044, 0326, which would be just right about here. So it looks like it's actually going to be on the road. So there we go, 0326, 0448. So then all we have to do is click mark and mark our next target. And we'll exit and roll into our next target. So we have our next target marked, and we will uh, fly in straight and level here, and we'll get our target indication, and we'll pick up the weapon. And we have weapon release. actually see the vehicle down there. And direct hit. Looks like we hit the vehicle right on. So once again you can see this weapon system is extremely effective as I'm still above 1500 meters well out of range of the AA threat. Um, so this is definitely something that should be considered for regular use uh, in the place of the laser guided munitions just because they're uh, they're not very reliable. And that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, just shoot me a PM or catch me on the forum sometime. Thanks.